I must go down to the seas again, to the lonely seas and the sky. And all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by. There's nothing more romantic than the thought of leaving this world behind and sailing away to distant shores. Imagine what it was like on October 15, 1872, as a ship set sail on her maiden voyage from the Netherlands to New York. Proudly named in honor of her home port, the Rotterdam, by all accounts, was a grand ship. Ah, but there was something more about her, something intangible. Perhaps it was her sleek lines or her legendary speed, or perhaps it was her diligent crew. So strong was her legacy that even now, over 125 years later, the legend of the Rotterdam lives on. For nearly a century, there were four ships that proudly upheld the Rotterdam tradition of excellence. Then, in 1958, Holland America launched what many believed to be the crowning achievement in cruising elegance. More than any other, the fifth ship to carry the Rotterdam name was blessed with a spirit that filled the hearts of many a guest. Some would say you can't improve on perfection, that nothing could take the place of the memories shared on this classic ship. But funny thing about the sea, she never sleeps. She's constantly changing. The Rotterdam's destiny is written on the wind. Never before has a ship been so anticipated. Never before has a ship so captured the passion of the sea. Never before has a ship surpassed five-star service in every capacity. A classic is born. It is with great pride that we present our newest star, the ship that will carry Holland America's flag into the next century, the new Rotterdam, the ultimate in luxury cruising. From shore, the new Rotterdam looks very impressive. Still, you might wonder how such a massive vessel made of cold, hard steel could ever hope to evoke any lasting emotions. You'll know the moment she takes to the water with the grace of a dolphin. She's larger, longer, sleeker than her predecessor. An instant legend that owes her lineage to the classic ocean liners. Designed for safety, speed and stability, her technologically advanced curved bow makes for a smoother ride in rougher seas. Her state-of-the-art thrusters allow her to operate safely where other ships can't go, even in severe wind conditions. And her cruising speed of 25 knots makes her one of the fastest luxury liners at sea. Which means that before you know it, you'll be knocking at adventure's door, allowing for more ports of call and more time in port on every cruise. Just think what sights these windows will behold. Set sail for adventure in comfort and style. The torch has been passed to the new Rotterdam, ushering in a grand new era in worldwide luxury cruising. When was the last time you relaxed and let someone else take care of your every need? Why carry the weight of the world on your shoulders? Let Hercules do it for you. At the heart of the new Rotterdam lies the magnificent clock tower atrium with 14 different clocks, 14 different time zones, all chiming in with a reminder that it's never too late to rediscover your dreams. Stop and smell the ocean. A cruise on the Rotterdam is your chance to laugh again, to remember how good it feels to be alive, to walk arm in arm and rekindle the fire. That is what life is all about. It's the time of your life. That's only fitting, because everything on the Rotterdam has a time and a purpose. And our purpose is to ensure that once and future passengers have the best experience that the ship and crew can deliver. But right now, it's time to see about your accommodations. One thing you'll notice along the way is that special touches are the rule, not the exception on the new Rotterdam. Such as three staircases instead of two for the utmost inconvenience. 
so no guest should ever be more than 130 feet from a staircase. And of course we offer banks of elevators and a variety of convenient wheelchair accessible rooms, staterooms with more space to maneuver, and specially outfitted bathrooms. Your choice of stateroom will most likely depend on your shipboard lifestyle. You may prefer one of our large inside staterooms on one of the lower three decks, complete with one queen-size bed which can be converted to two lower beds and a shower. If you'd like a bath as well and you prefer a window, you may choose one of our large ocean view staterooms. Whichever you choose, you'll find a little surprise in every room. All of our staterooms are 25% larger than the industry standard. Not something you might notice right away, but it makes a difference when it comes to comfort. And comfort is our mainstay. If you're at the crossroads of whether to book a stateroom or a suite, consider what the great poet Robert Frost once said, two roads diverged in the woods and I took the road less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. It's time you treated yourself to the best. The Rotterdam has two entire decks devoted exclusively to suites, ranging in size from 300 to 1126 square feet. Just imagine it. It's like starring in your own classic movie, sitting on your private veranda, the entire ocean at your feet. It's the stuff dreams are made of. It all begins here, on the veranda deck, where your mini-suite offers floor-to-ceiling windows, two beds convertible to one queen size, a cozy sitting area, a whirlpool bath and shower, and other home away from home amenities like a refrigerator. And all of our suites come equipped with VCRs. Moving up to the navigation deck means a step up in comfort. Here, once again, your suite comes complete with all the comforts of our mini-suites. But now, you have more space to really unwind. Like this larger sitting area. And your two lower beds convert to a king. Other well-placed additions include a dressing room and a sofa bed built for two. Also on the navigation deck, for the truly discriminating traveler, may we present the penthouse suites. With 1,126 square feet, the penthouse gives you room to move. Several rooms, in fact. From the dining room, to the living room, bedroom, and luxurious bathroom. There's the dressing room, the pantry, and there's even a guest bathroom. And should you need anything, anything at all, don't hesitate to call. Here in the Neptune Lounge, a private retreat for guests of our suites, the concierge is taking requests at designated hours. Need to send a fax? It's done. Personalized stationery? Right here. Simply relax in the lounge, enjoy your coffee, or play games. The concierge is on hand to book shore excursions or make alternative dining arrangements as well. There are a number of excellent restaurants on board the Rotterdam. As we begin our search, you can't help but notice the stunning artwork along the way. For art, in all forms, is our passion on the Rotterdam. You might say, we've taken cruising to an art form. An intricately elaborate mosaic of art and antiques unfolds as you move from deck to deck. Nothing was left to chance. Artists were commissioned to design works for specific locations on the ship. Each piece was literally crafted for its own unique environment, in harmony with the materials around it. The results are nothing short of inspiring. The spirit of centuries of Venetian artists and craftspeople sail right alongside you to every port of call. And why not? It wasn't so very long ago that Dutch vessels ruled the waves, sending explorers to the far reaches of the globe in search of untold treasures. On the Rotterdam, we pay homage to that heritage. Around any corner, you might run into a 17th century Italian cabinet, a samurai suit of armor, 
or even a life-size replica of the famous terracotta warriors from the burial chambers of Xi'an, China. Art, like beauty, is in the eye of the beholder. On the Rotterdam, we just give you more to behold, like this exquisite five-foot bronze mermaid. She's a replica of a statue that was found in the harbor of the Venice shipyard where the Rotterdam was built. We felt that she deserved a place of honor, where she could greet passengers, watch over the ship, and bring us good fortune. Up on the Lido deck near the pool, these lifelike bronze sea lions stand as a tribute to the graceful movement of nature. It's here, relaxing by the pool, that you may also experience the tantalizing aromas of the terrace grill drawing you near. Lunch is served al fresco any day you desire. And just a few steps away, the Lido Bar is whipping up your favorite poolside beverages. If you feel like pampering yourself, the Lido Deck is also home to the beauty salon, as well as sauna and massage facilities. And if you really get motivated, the Ocean Spa Gymnasium is right next door to pump away any surplus cares and worries. After that, you'll probably work up an appetite. It's just a short walk to the Lido Restaurant. Fielding's guide gave both the Terrace Grill and the Lido high marks. Try it. You'll like it. By the way, directly overhead, they're serving great times on the sports deck, where you'll find everything from tennis courts to shuffleboard. The sports deck is also where you'll find one of the favorite spots of young seafarers, Club Hal in the Sky Room. And you can't miss our twin rear stacks, another signature that makes the Rotterdam so distinctive. One of the main attractions on the sports deck, without a doubt, is the crow's nest. By day, the perfect spot for unobstructed panoramic views and afternoon drinks. It can also be apportioned off for parties. By night, the hottest dance floor aboard. The sports deck is also a great place to catch a sunset. But as night approaches, it's time for the promenade. Home of stage, screen, slots, and shopping. Nighttime is the great time to enjoy the promenade and upper promenade decks. But first, it's dinner time. One of the greatest pleasures in life is going out for dinner. And one of the most extensive menus at sea awaits you in the spectacular two-deck La Fontaine dining room placed boldly in the stern of the ship. With the Rotterdam's advanced construction, vibration and motion have been virtually eliminated, so you can enjoy your meal in serene, panoramic style. The food is superb, and the view sublime. Still, the night may come when you crave something more, an insatiable urge to indulge in the gourmet passions of, say, Italy. Behold! The Odyssey, an intimate dining experience in the spirit of an opulent Venetian villa, surrounded by gold-framed pictures of 19th century Italian countrysides and Baroque candelabras bathing you in romance. The illusion is complete. Experience the fantasy. It's truly an experience in Epicurean delights. Our master chef has created a feast of Italian foods fit for the gods. Reservations are available for all guests during every cruise. So be sure not to miss your big night at the Odyssey. That calls for a toast to what may be one of the most extensive wine lists ever assembled on the high seas, as well as special tastings of premium vintages hosted by European sommeliers to make the experience complete. And that's just a taste of what lies in store. As the stars come out, the Rotterdam lets the good times roll. And the Queen's Lounge has just the ticket. Everything's special, right down to the curtain. And when that curtain goes up, you can count on an evening to remember. But just because you've seen the Queen's Lounge, don't think you've seen it all. Because at the Ambassador Lounge, we're taking requests. The Ambassador Lounge is both a hip, floating nightclub and a cozy piano bar. What are you in the mood for? Every night on the Rotterdam is a new adventure. Catch a movie in the Wayang Theater, complete with complimentary hot popcorn. 
or check out the action on the Upper Promenade. Your best bet's the casino if you like to gamble. But if you prefer a sure thing, how about a nightcap in the romantic ocean bar? Or relive the day's activities over a brandy in our elegant Explorer's Lounge. While best known for our nocturnal events, the Promenade and Upper Promenade decks have intriguing daytime discoveries as well. Like the library, for instance, and the puzzle corner, and the best way to start your day, the Java Cafe. Whatever you choose to do on board the Rotterdam, just remember, relax, don't worry, we'll take care of everything. That's our job. Traditions aren't born overnight. Traditions develop over time. Like our superior onboard service, for instance. In Rotterdam, they say that people buy their shirts with the sleeves rolled up. And like our namesake, we're no strangers to hard work. From the captain on down, the crew of the Rotterdam is of the highest caliber. A hand-picked staff of experienced officers and veteran crew members who have the most cruising experience in the world. You'd expect no less from the leader in luxury cruises. We have a very experienced crew and they give the passengers the best possible service and they make them feel at home immediately, right from the start. I give to you that whole America line is what the crew is and not the ships. Everybody can build a ship, but it's the crew who makes the experience for our passengers. If you've traveled with us before, you know that we employ only top-notch crews and we sail under a tipping not required policy. We have at least 50% of our staff in the cabin stewards and restaurant stewards are coming from the, uh, the grand old lady. And so on our world cruise, a lot of the passengers will recognize their cabin stewards and their restaurant stewards, which immediately gives them a bond with this new ship already. Our service crew members are graduates of our intensive training course at a facility that's been dubbed the SS Jakarta. Before any crew member comes aboard, they're familiar with everything that we stand for. More than that, they know that with every move they make, they're representing Holland America. And they do it with grace and pride. Their number one goal is to make sure you walk away with a smile. And they're good at their job. Comparisons are inevitable. And many of our time-honored guests will come aboard the new Rotterdam with memories of the past and wondering if we've changed. They may be greeted by a few different colors and designs, but the service, the friendliness, the tradition of excellence that is the hallmark of Holland America, that will never change. Still, we have retained some of the memories, even designed some of the rooms to be similar, not to copy, but rather to pay homage to the legacy that is the flagship Rotterdam. The last ship was, was a shining star. It had a very special atmosphere about her. It was about the people that had uh, traveled around the world, all the different ports that it had visited. And for them, it was like coming home. Holland America Line continues to be among the highest rated major cruise lines in the world, always placing among the best on the Condé Nast Traveler Reader's Choice Poll, Travel and Leisure World's Best Awards, and World Ocean and Cruise Liner Society's Best Overall Cruise Value. When we designed the new Rotterdam, we knew that only the best would do. We couldn't just meet. We had to exceed all of your expectations. She is designed to be the best luxury liner ever, with an eye to the future. Her level of service and amenities will surpass even the five-star rating on the old Rotterdam. With this ship, we're launching a new era in luxury worldwide cruising to the most desirable, most exotic destinations in the world. More than 150 breathtaking ports of call each year. And yet, when all is said and done, it still comes down to one glorious thing. At Holland America Line, our philosophy is simple. When adventure calls, we put you in contact with the sea. I must go down to the seas again to the lonely seas and the sky. And all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by.
the legend continues. Ladies and gentlemen, Holland America Line is proud to present our newest shining star, flagship of excellence, the MS Rotterdam.